Hi students, how are you? I hope you're still healthy and still happy study with your beloved family. Now, Wulan Laoshi is Tri Laoshi and Ika Laoshi will explain you about new lesson, position and movement. Let's get started. What we will learn in this chapter are we will learn how to making turn using hands of a clock. And then we also learn about moving shape. We will use grid coordinate to help us. And then we also learning about turning shape. In this time, we will turning flag on a grid coordinate. Making turn. We will learn about how to make a quarter turn a right angle turn. Here is a clock. The clock shows 3 o'clock. The hour hand point to 3 and the minute hand point to 12. What about if the minute hands or the red hands make a quarter turn or right angle turn? Clockwise direction. This is the position of the minute hand at first and then the minute hand making turn, quarter turn to this position. So the clock will be like this. The minute hand point to 12 at first, and then it is making a quarter turn, and then now the minute hand points to 3, from 12 to 3. Because of the minute hand not point to 12 anymore, so it's not 3 o'clock again, right? So the hour hand point a little bit more than 3. Next example. The clock shows 20 minutes past 11. The minute hand Make a quarter turn or right angle clockwise direction. This is the position of the minute hand at first, and then it making a quarter turn. So the minute hand will take position like this. Okay, let's go to the clock. First, the minute hand point to four. Where do you think the minute hand will take position now after making a quarter turn? Yes, it point to seven from 4 to 7. Now, the clock show 35 minutes past 11. From those examples, we can say that to make a quarter turn or right angle turn, the minute hand has to move to the next three numbers. Okay, let's Try again. The first clock show 5 minutes to 2. If the minute hands make a quarter turn or on a clockwise direction, where do you think the minute hand and our hand will be placed? Okay, right. The minute hand will point to 2. From 11, go to the next 3 numbers. It will be point to 2. The clock will show 10 minutes past 2. Now, we will learn about how to make a half turn or two right angles turn. Here, the clock show 3 o'clock. How about if the minute hands make a half turn or two right angles? clockwise direction. This is the position of the minute hands at first and then it go through making half turn. It will take position like this. Let's go to the clock. This is the position of the minute hands at first and then it making a half turn so it point to 6 now from 12 to 6. Because of this is not 3 o'clock anymore, it's already past about 30 minutes, so the hour hand point between 3 
and 4. To make a half turn or two right angles turn, the minute hand has to move to the next six numbers. Okay, here is the clock. The clock shows five minutes um, to two. And then if the minute hand make a half turn to clockwise direction, where do you think the minute hand and our hand will be placed? Yeah, it will point to 5. It, the clock will show 25 minutes past 2. After you understand about how to make a quarter and a half turn, let's do this practice. Do your worksheet 1 on your Think Mathematics Workbook, page 147 until 148. Now we will learn about moving shape. First, we will learn about how to write position. This is called grid coordinates. Grid coordinates are used to define a particular place within a local area. But in this time, we will use letters and numbers to show where the position is. We will find out the position of some children's house using these grid coordinates. This is Al, Bella, Cody, Daisy, and Ed. These children are in their home. State the position of Al. Where do you think Al take position? Let's go down here. It points to letter A. If we go to the left, it points to number 6. So, Al house is in the A6. What about Bella? If we go down here, it points to C and number 3. So Bella house is in the C3. Cody, where do you think Cody's house will take position? If we go down here, it points to E and 5. So Cody's house is in the E5. How about Daisy? Daisy point to G and number 7. So Daisy's house in the G7. And how about Ed? Ed point to J and 1. So Ed house in the J1. Now let us continue our lesson on moving shape. This is the grid coordinates with five children that we have already known their position. Wait, this is not five. This is four. Where's the other one? Oh, there you are, Ed. By the way, next week is Al's birthday. He wants to share his invitation for his friends to go to his birthday party. Today, he moves from his house to Cody's house. He go one unit down and four units to the right. The next day, he wants to go to the other friend's house to share the invitation. Now, I want you to help me to describe one way for Al to get from his house to his friend's house. The next day, he wants to go to Daisy's house. Where do you think he should go? Yeah, he go one unit up and six units to the right. The next day, he wants to go to Bella's house. Where do you think he should go? Yeah, he go down three units and two units to the right. The next day, he wants to go to Ed's house. So, I'll go down 5 units and 9 units 
to the light. After you understand about how to light position and how to moving shape, I need you to practice. Check your mathematics workbook and do worksheet 2 on your same mathematics books, page 149 until 150. Let us go further by continuing our lesson to turning shape. This is our shape, a flag. The original position of the flag is E7. If the flag make a quarter turn, the position of the flag is in. Okay, the flag make a quarter turn. The position will look like this. So it is G4. The flag position after making a quarter turn is G4. What about if the flag make a half turn? The position of the flag is in the D2. Now, if the flag make three right angles turn, the position of the flag is in the, yes, D5. Very good. Now, how about if the flag make four right angles or two half turns? Or we can say one whole turn, the position of the flag is in the, yes, it's in E7 again. It's go back to the original position. After you understand how to make a turning shape with one, two, three, and four right angles, I need you to do your worksheet three on your Think Mathematics workbook, page 151 until 152. Okay, this is the end of our lesson. If you have any questions about the lesson, you can ask me in Volunteer's YouTube channel or in our Google Classroom. See you!